Hello and welcome back. How is everybody? Today we're looking at shellacking your bunions. <laughs> not really. Looking at the shellac chuck. Which is a funny name because it's not really a chuck as such. It's really a mini faceplate. So let's get on with that because I want to glue that to that. But it needs a little bit of work first. So let's get on with it. Hey, that's a big lump of metal. Today's operations consist of facing that, cleaning that up, reversing the whole thing round, then I want to reduce that shank. So I'll just get on with it and maybe edit it a bit. You don't want to watch the whole process, but it's going to take me a good while to get through that. It's a whacking big lump, 65 mil. We're getting there and we're getting a nice finish which is always important right I need to reverse that into the chuck drill a little hole in the back so the rotating center can go there to support it then I'm going to turn that down maybe to about an inch or so right let's carry on looking good so far I think that'll do, that's not too shabby. I've had to knock it about in the chuck, but it's not being held very much, only about half an inch. Now I don't have many tools to turn down steel. I mostly work with aluminium and brass, and obviously no copper. But I found this, and I rehorned it, and I think I'll use this to take most of the meat off, and then I'll finish off with that for the fine finish. So I'm going to have to invest in some more tooling. I think that'll be okay. We'll soon find out. I guess this is where you need flood coolant, which I haven't got. <laughs> I say the carbide is doing a good job of roughing. It's not a bad finish at all. So I'm happy with that. I just need to carry on. <sighs>
Well, I'm not getting great results with the carbide. It's a bit scratchy, it's a, it's a bit ridgy. I'm going to try a homebrew high speed steel, see how we get on. Oh yeah, much better. I'm happy with that. So it turns out the homebrew high speed sale was the job. Right, let's move on. <coughs> so this is a story so far. Not looking too bad. I think I'll now mount this into the collet chuck is a bit more accurate and then I'm going to put some annular rings like a tree on the and after that it's pure blagging I don't really know what I'm doing <laughs> the first job though I think I'll clean all this mess up that's what happens when you carve down 65mm to 24mm oh dear <sighs> I don't think the Uber's going to clean that up. Oh god, these things don't get lighter. Right, a quick change over. Off with its head. There's something entirely more accurate. One of the best things I ever bought this. If you can line it up. There we go. Should really take them paint chips off really. That's better. Lovely. Much better. Well, there's only one job left, and I'm venturing into the unknown now. <laughs> I'm going to put some annular rings on this nice shiny face. I'm going to spoil it, and that might help in holding the glue, the shellac. It's worth a try. Let's see how we get on. If it doesn't work, I can always face it off again. You've got to try these things, haven't you?
Lovely. Okay. Let's look at some shellac. Oh. 